Hello, this is Librarian Jennifer Bone, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the online library catalog. To start, you'll want to go to the SWIC library page. If you go to SWIC.edu, you can hover over the student services and find library in the drop down list. Once you get to the library page, you'll want to scroll down underneath the picture and get to the blue rectangle. This is what we call our search widget. Now in our search widget, you'll see that you'll start by having the articles tab at the forefront. You'll see that there are three tabs that go across the top of the blue rectangle. You will want to start your search in our online library catalog by clicking on the books and movies tab. In this tab, you will find books that are physically on campus at Bellwell, Granite, or Redbud libraries, or you will find ebooks that are available completely through an online format, either using your phone or your computer. You can start by just typing your topic in the box. I'm going to look up the topic of conspiracy theory, but instead of putting theory, there might be books that have the title theories with S's and uh, just the word theory. So if you put a star, it will continue the, the length of that word, so you can search either theory or theories. You can click go or enter after you've typed in your topic. And your results page should look like this. You'll see at the very top of the page, there are little uh, buttons that you could push as you, if you want to do some searches. So know that all of those are there for you to use. Um, over here on the right is a sign in if you want to sign in with your eStorm information. As you go down below that, you'll see that the topic that you've typed in is right here in the gray box. If you scroll down underneath that, you will see your results. So I have retrieved 214 results for the topic that I've typed in. And it's trying to find books on conspiracy theories or conspiracy for me that are located in here. Now, right now, it's only searching the SWIC library campus libraries and our online connect co collections. So know that that's all we're accessing right now. So the first book is at Sam Wolf Granite City um, General Book Collection. That book can be easily sent here within one day. So if you find a book that's at another campus, we're happy to have it sent over here for you. We'll show you how to do that. You can click on the title. From this page right here, to get the book sent, you go down to the yellow bar and click on Sign In. From this box, you just tell it that you are a Southwestern Illinois College user, and you sign in with your student ID number and your password. Once you log in, you'll be taken back to the same page and you will get this little area that says how to get it. Just go ahead and click on request because you are making a local request from another campus. From this menu box right here, all you need to select is the campus that you want to pick it up at. I would select Belleville and click send request. After submitting this form, there'll be a little green box that pops up right here in the center of the page. If I make multiple requests, I can go up to the top right hand corner and click on my name and look at the My Request drop down area. By clicking on that, I can see here is the book that I just requested. If I decide that I don't want this book, I can easily click Cancel and I can cancel that request. So it's quick, it's easy, and it's free, and you can do it at midnight. The library catalog never closes. Also on this page, you will see this little area that says send to. If I wanted to take any of the citation information with me, I can click on these buttons. If I want a permanent link back to this item in the catalog, instead of using this link at the top of the page, you would want to select this permalink and that will give you a link directly back to this item. I could email these details to myself, or if I wanna get the citation, I don't wanna email the details. I actually am just looking for citation information. I can click on citation. It'll magically appear right here, and I just have to pick the style that I want it in. So if I want MLA 8th, I just click on it, 
copy it to the clipboard, and place it wherever I like. So know that all of these tools are here and are very, very helpful. If I scroll down under where I requested the item, I can see details about this book. So if I'm looking for other books that might be similar to this, I might want to come down here and look at this subject area. These are like hashtags in a TikTok. These are subject terms that are connected to the book. So I can click on any of these and get other books uh, or articles or materials that might be in here that will be the same. So if I wanted to look at the psychological aspects of conspiracy theories, I can click directly on this link right there. Also, the newer books come with a description or an abstract. They'll tell you a little bit about the book. Sometimes there will be related titles, and sometimes there'll be a table of contents, which tells you what the chapters of the book are. So this little area can be very helpful when you're wanting to see what a book is about without having access to the inside. Now, if I go back to my results page, there is a section on the left that says tweak your results. If I wanted to narrow down this larger group of books, which is 214, I can adjust the information and I can narrow it easily with all of these limitations. The first thing I wanted to point out is the sort by feature. The sort by feature kind of tells you what order you're looking at the books in. So this is doing a relevance order sort for you. So it's trying to look at your word and try to match the book that has the matching word or words that are in the title. If I wanted to look at the oldest book first, I can click on date oldest. If I wanted to look at the newest book, I can click date newest. They will alphabetize by title or by the author's name. The next section talks about availability. If you are an online student or you're writing your paper at the last minute and you need to find a book that's available online only, you can check this box and that will get rid of the books that are located on the campus and only give you the material that's available online. That can be easily done by checking this box and applying the filter, or you can actually just click on available online. So I can see my filter is set right here to remove it and say, well, I'd like to see all of the books. I can click this X and then I get everything available. If I just want to see what's held at the campus libraries, I can click directly on the words or check the box. And then you'll see everything that's located at the different campus libraries. So those are quick, easy limits that you can set. Also on the left, if you want to look at the different source types, if you're looking for specifically a book or an audio book or videos that you can watch, sometimes there's conference proceedings. This one has one journal article that's connected to it. You can click on any of these to view it. The number in parentheses tells you the total number of items in that area. You can go down underneath that if you want to just look at the things at a particular campus, like the Belleville campus, you can click on the Belleville campus. That filter will be set at the top, and you'll see all of these are going to be located in the Belleville Campus Library. Below that, if you want to look at things published in a specific date range, you can set that date range right here. There is also a section for subjects. These are those hashtags, like a TikTok has, or those subject terms, and it tells you the total number of items that lands in each different area. So know that you can kind of look at those things and decide what might be helpful for you. You can close this. There's going to be a lot of those little subject terms labels. They also have a narrow, a narrow down feature for authors, languages, locations. So these are the different collections in the library. We have a true crime collection. We have our big general collection. There are things you can just use in the library. So all of those are kind of pointed out here. And also the institution is listed. So this is what other libraries may have on our topic. So you can search those libraries individually if you'd like. So if I wanted to change my topic, I can come up here and start typing, or I can click on Simple Search, and I can just X this out. I'm going to do Truman Capote and hit Search. I'm going to see what we have at our library here on campus and also possibly some of the other online versions that we might have. So I can kind of look at what's here. I can see this one is right on target with what I'm looking for. So I can look at In Cold Blood. 
As I look at this, I can see that there are two different books here. It looks like they are the same book, but the different the publication is right date is different. So you'll see that kind of located right there. So those are the details that you'd like to look at. If I wanted to look about look at these books any closer, I can click on the title. Now this one, even though they're the same book, they're going to be a little bit different. One might have a better description than the other because it's older or newer, so keep that in mind. Um, as I look at this, if I wanted to look up murder in Kansas, I can click on any of these uh, little subject terms and see what comes up. So I'm getting um, these books right here. Here's an online book. Um, also, if I wanted to, if I'm not really happy with what we have in the collection online or on the physical campuses, you can expand it so it searches 90 college and university libraries. That's an easy thing to do. You can either do the drop down menu and change your search scope from SWIC library catalog to all iShare libraries. So you can do the button and you'll see that my subject term is here or I can click on simple search and I can change it from the drop down. So either way works, and then I can just press on the magnifying glass or click search. And then you'll see these are the things that are coming up for me. Remember one thing that you'd like to do as you're searching is try a lot of different search terms. Um, at the very top, you can change it up. This is my subject term, but if I want to do Truman Capote again, I can do that search up here at the top to see what comes up. Um, in the big catalog. And I can see these are the books that are coming up for me here. And I can click on these and I can see these are the same kind of books that we had here at SWIC. So just know there's a lot of ways to move around. If I wanted to order some of these books that we might not have here at SWIC, I can absolutely come in here and uh, request some books. I'm going to do this one, A House of Heights. And to order it, I can see this little description down here. I can click on iShare under the How to Get It area. And sometimes it takes a minute to kind of open up. It's verifying that this is a requestable book. So if you think it's taking forever, it does feel like it because we're so used to something being clicked and it popping down. So this one's just taking a little bit longer. There we go. And then once it folds down and you can see the whole menu, you can just say, yep, I'd like to pick it up at the Belleville Campus Library. After you've selected that, you can just hit send request. And this request is going to be sent to these two schools, SIUE and U of I at Springfield. And what they will do is they will check their collection and they will, if they have it, they'll let, they'll put it, process it and put it on a van to be sent here. It's a free service and it takes three days to get here. So know that we are getting books every day and sending books back every day and you can request up to 10 to 15 items. So if there are a lot of books that you're interested in, we love that. So just let us know if you find something that you like, go ahead and make your request right here and we will absolutely get that book for you. If you get an email that says it's canceled, let us know. Um, we have other ways to request. When the book does arrive at SWIC, you will get an email from us saying that your book is at the front desk and you will need to bring your plastic student ID card to the front desk. It's like your credit card at the library, but it's free and you can check the book out directly. Checkouts of books from our collections and from other collections are four weeks. And if you need to keep it longer, just let us know and we can extend that time for you. Just remember that checking out from the library is a completely free service. We have wonderful space here and we hope you come into the library to get some help from us. If you need help from a librarian, please know that you can reach out to us right here on the library front page. You'll see that there's the contact us link where our information is located. And one other tip is if you are looking for a book on, on Amazon or you find something on Google and that you'd really like it, but you can't seem to find it in the library catalog, just know that you can come in here and at the bottom of the box where the tab has books and movies, you can click on book request form 
and once you go into the book request form, just fill out the information of what you're looking for um, and your contact information, and we will order the book for you um, outside of those library collections. We're excited to have you using the library, and we